Is uh, sulfur the philosopher's stone of alchemy? It's an interesting specimen. Sulfur definitely comes up in the writings of the alchemists, such as Theophrastus, Paracelsus, and Michael Syndebogius, which makes it very interesting, especially since the fact that my research indicates that some scientists theorize that sulfur may be the nucleus of the gold atom. And uh, further research I dug up suggested that uh, scientists may believe that uh, uh, gold can be created in, in magma in uh, lava flows when volcanoes erupt, uh, and that when it happens, they believe that possibly eight times more gold might be created if sulfur is present in the equation. The interesting thing about it, though, is that the alchemists spoke of an incombustible sulfur that does not burn. Because earlier in my alchemical experiments, I've tried throwing sulfur into molten lead with interesting results, such as the fact that it burns and turns to a black, sooty mess like carbon. Um, sulfur does not withstand the heat of being thrown in molten lead, so that's an interesting question, or it, it, you know, it poses some interesting food for thought. If nature puts sulfur in the in the metal, you know, how is the alchemist to do it? Food for thought. This is Alchemy of Stephen School. Do not try this at home. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for updates. Not for human consumption.